This absolute beast of a unit is coming tomorrow for global. Should you be excited and ready to spend all of your V-Bucks, the real life ones, on this banner? No, absolutely not. Let's not even talk about the unit. Look at this amazing opportunity you have to pull red Halloween Meliodas. Or even better, Red Christmas Elaine. Or I'll, I'll one-up you on that one, okay? Characters that sound good on paper, but you never use. Like Blue Mono, Red Brynhildr, Blue Ela Elaine, and Blue Lilia. The baits of the banner quote, but you never use. Very good, very cool. This is one of those characters that are complete garbage and useless and you'll never use in the game ever. Um, except if, and there is, I'll, I'll, I'll preface this, there is a chance that for anniversary, right? Anniversary coming out um, a month and a half from now? When is anniversary dropping? I'll look it up real quick. It's coming out real soon, right? There is a real chance that they will drop an activity that she'll be good on. There is, but unless that happens, she has no place in the game that she can actually be used on. Her passive doesn't work in PvP or Demonic Beasts, right? So cut off 85% of the game, right? The only places where she's usable is free stage. <laughs> so, so that's good if you want to farm food with her. Um... She's good for final bosses. Sure. Not gonna make good points with her, but maybe for a decent farm. Um, that's it, really. Uh, so, <laughs> it's a final boss unit. Not for points, though. For slight, fast farm. She's worse than Kizuna, so keep that in mind. Uh, so she's the worst Kizuna, essentially. What she does, if you don't know what she does, maybe you, you missed out on my video. Um, when she uses a card, she gives all allies 30% attack related stats for two turns, which sounds amazing. And it is. Problem is that it doesn't work anywhere. It doesn't work in PvP, it doesn't work in Demonic Beasts. Again, it's basically final boss. And you can stretch and say original demon, but honestly, I use her in original demon. The fact that she has to use a card sucks. And she's a goddess, so her cards do no damage on the original demon. So... And she also increases basic stats of allies by 5% up to 2 times. Um, so 10%. Cool. Her skills that take off ultimate gauge and pierce AoE. It's garbage. She's actual garbage. It's actually sad. <laughs> it's, uh, it's a skip. It's a skip. So, what else is coming with this update? Not much. There is... Um, Paid cosmetics, if you want. I haven't bought them because Lamau. I already have max cosmetics for both of these characters. Like, Margaret seriously has so many costumes. Let me check really quickly. I swear Margaret has, like, infinite costumes. They really like giving... Like, look at this. Look at this, man! Look how many outfits she has! Look at these many weapons! She has nine weapons now! Why? Give it to a character that could use it! I don't know, man. You know, Kusok... ...doesn't have five weapons, I think. Or five haircuts or something. Why? She has nine weapons. It's absurd. I mean, this Kusok... Oh, he does. Oh no, he got the Hawk Pass one. Which character am I thinking about? I don't know. Maybe Chandler? No, he did, did also get it. I'm thinking about a demon, though. I don't know, there is a demon. Oh, this Chandler. Yeah, he doesn't have five haircuts. What, what is wrong? This character came out in 2021, bro. Oh my god. Okay. Um, oh yeah, there's also the free mile costume that comes from... Oh, there's a Labyrinth. New Labyrinth. Uh, I'll make, like, a, um, a guide, sort of, but if you don't want to watch the guide, short answer, 
get a goddess team with Mael. That's probably the best. But on the shop, you can buy a full Mael costume. Even if you don't have Mael, I would recommend, you know, buying um, for the future. If eventually you end up pulling him. It's free. It's full UR as well. So it's easy to upgrade and just get it done. Stuff like that. Um, there is a new Holy Relic for Elat, which is for final boss only. Where is she? So this Elat, of course, is a, like a final boss unit. And then she got like a, a final boss. Sort of Holy Relic that increases allies' basic stats by 3% every time she uses a skill in final boss, up to 5 times, so it's a 15% basic stat boost to allies. I don't know if it's good, I haven't tried, I won't try, I don't care about final boss, I haven't played final boss in years, <laughs> I was gonna say months, but it's been years. Don't like the game mode, don't care about the game mode, if it is good, let me know in the comments, but I think this Elat was already kind of not so good for final boss. Like, the, the point strategies for final boss were like the hit hard ones for a few of them, like Astorosa and Miguelda. I've never seen Mag uh, this character be at the top of the leaderboards, because even though I don't play the game mode, I still look at it. Um, maybe with the Holy Relic it's now good, but it wasn't really showing up. At, the, at that top uh, beforehand. I believe this is coming from this week. The hawk, like, eat thing, which is like, cool, I guess. I <laughs> uh, I guess it's cool. I don't know. I, I, this is my first time doing it this week, so I, the rewards are amazing, like 150 red stones. It's, um... Anyways, um, there's crab. I did crab three times. Or one time, sorry. I did crab one time. Um... It's crab. And you can buy an SSR weapon Forget this, the one Askinor. This one, right here. I think, right? No, who's that weapon for? Is it, is it base Askinor? Sorry, base Askinor. I think this weapon is new. Base Askinor has five, 10, 14 weapons. And he is garbage. Buff this character, dear lord. So there's like the base Askinor, and then the, the costume for like the picnic thing is for base DN. Which has, oh my god, 5, 10, <laughs> 15, 18 weapons. Why? <laughs> Why does she have? 18 weapons and she's garbage. She just got... Why are they giving her another one? What the... F why? But that is all for this patch. Uh, not much. Um, in two weeks there might be a collab. Or not. Probably another garbage banner.